Hi YouTube, Tim Uckert here. In this video, we're going to install VS Code on a Chromebook in 2024. Now this should work on modern Chromebooks. This one is an AMD type chip Chromebook, so Intel Pentium, AMD processor, those kind of things. The ARM, it might be a little bit different. I don't own one of those, so I can't speak to that. But if you have an AMD or Intel uh, chip Chromebook that is modern, this should work for you. So the first thing we need to do is go down here to the launcher on the left. We'll click on that. And we want to search for settings. Okay. So we'll click on settings. And we have a bunch of options here down on the left. We want to go all the way down to the bottom here to about Chrome OS. Click on that. And we'll see down here, once we do that, we have this Linux development environment. We have to enable that. So we're going to click setup. And then this wizard will come up and walk us through the setup. So we're going to click next. Uh, we can pick a username or just leave the username it gives us, which I believe is based off of your email. I would pick a username now and change it if you don't like the username that's given. Uh, and then it also allows you to uh, pick a disk size. So the recommended disk size at the time of this recording is 10 gigabytes. You can also change that by clicking on the custom and dragging the slider depending on how much space you have. You can change the disk size later on. So I'm going to stick with the defaults and click install. And that's going to take a few moments to run on through and install. And I'll be right back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up. We can now close out the settings here, and let me just uh, maximize this. I'm going to get the font a little bit larger. We want to make sure everything is up to date, so we're going to type sudo apt update, and then two ampersands, sudo apt upgrade. I like to add the dash y flag so it doesn't ask me for using additional storage. If you don't add that and you hit enter, it's just going to ask you hey, do you want to take this extra storage for the update? Um, anyway, so I'm going to hit enter, let that run through, and I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once that's run through, we can clear everything out by typing in clear and hitting enter. And now we want to install what VS Code recommends as a dependency, which is the GNOME keyring. So I'm going to type sudo apt install gnome-keyring. Uh, this time I won't do the dash Y flag, I'll just show you that's going to ask you to take 12 megabytes of space for this particular uh, install. I'm going to say yes and hit enter and let that run through and I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, so that's done. So I'm going to exit out of this terminal here and just you can just close it out like so. And now we want to open up a browser here uh, and just expand this. I'm just going to type in the search uh, VS Code and that'll bring up this site uh, code.visualstudio.com. I'll click on that. And from here we can download the .dev file, which again, this is working for AMD or Intel based Chromebooks. So I'm going to download that. Okay, once that's downloaded, it'll give the option to show in folder or we can just open up and go to our downloads folder and we can right click on it and click install with Linux. It's going to go out and retrieve some app information. We'll click install and then OK and let that go through and install. OK, after that's downloaded, give it a moment or two. Uh, we can close out the settings here. And if we go down to the launcher and go down to our Linux apps, we'll see we have the icon for VS Code. I'm going to right click and pin that to the shelf because I'll be using that rather frequently. And now I'll just click to open. And after a moment or two, uh, VS Code will open on up and you can begin customizing it to your specific needs. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.